So I ran into a situation this week where I had to put a customer's logo onto a model. And it was a really interesting exercise um, because it, it sort of, it made me, uh, well, I had to dig pretty deep on this one and come up with some with some cool little tricks to make it actually work. Because in this case, you know, so I, I've sort of dummied this problem up for the sake of the demo. Um, I've made a logo that just says the word logo and it's uh, using the text tool and then it's extruded with some draft. Uh, in this case, we sort of want to engrave this logo onto this object. So this is very similar in style to what I did for the customer, but of course I'm just using a generic logo. Uh, but the really tricky thing was that where the customer wanted it, and the customer's always right, was at a surface seam between two surfaces. And so let me show you why that's difficult. So I have, whenever you do flow along surf, for something like this, usually you have a base surface. And in this case, my base surface is just a little bit bigger than my text. Um, and you can see what I've done is I've I've just I, I've just left a little bit of this tapered extrusion uh, proud of this surface because when I go to flow this logo on this target surface, I want to be able to trim it out. And so I've left just like a little bit of extra and I've just set that by eye, right? You can, you can sit here and do this stuff all day long to set the depth of what you're doing. Super easy. But let me show you the, the problem here, how this doesn't work, the normal approach. You know, if I just dupe this border and I extrude that and then I split this with my extrusion, I get rid of this and I say, okay, this is, this is my base surface. You know, this is my object logo. This is my base surface, this plane. And this is my target surface that I want to, that I want to apply this logo to. Well, when I go into flow along surf, select objects to flow along a surface, clicking my logo, I've grouped these for the sake of making it easier. And then select my base surface, that would be this, and then select my target surface, that would be this right here. Well, first of all, notice it's only selecting one, you know, there, this is a poly surface, right? This is two surfaces just joined together that I split off. It's only seeing one of them because flow along surf for the target surface, it says target surface, not target poly surface, right? And so I click that and, oh geez, this has not gone well whatsoever. That is not what I wanted at all. Uh, and you can see, you know, the ISO curve for this, you know, runs this direction and it runs this direction here. And so it sort of skewed it and morphed it based on, based on this surface here, but not even the cut of this surface. And so this is, of course, totally wrong. This is not what I want at all. And so I thought long and hard about how to fix this problem. And what I realized was I needed an untrimmed surface of this shape that, that matched, that duplicated this geometry. Right, so I need I need sort of yeah I need an untrimmed surface that is this shape that matches this shape and so what I did was I'm just going to project and so I'm going to create this is the sort of the solution to this the the moment of inspiration here was to go oh I'm going to create a custom target surface only exists as a flow target and will not be used directly in the model, right? So I'm gonna project this border onto my poly surface. 
And then this curve, I'm going to blow it up into the four pieces. I'm going to join these two together. And I'm going to join these two together. Nope, not that. This curve and this curve. I'm going to join these. And these are poly curves right now. And what I want is something that I can edit because I'm, you know, I'm looking ahead and I'm thinking I might need to tweak this a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this curve and this curve and I'm going to rebuild them as say uh, six points to degree five. Let's try that. Awesome. And then I'm going to take these curves and I'm going to do, I'm going to rebuild these as like four points degree three. Great. And then I'm going to do surface from edge curves and I'm going to feed it these four curves here. Uh, let's just, we got to click through them. No problem. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. And I'm going to take this surface and when I do stuff like this, I like assigning it its own color, something that really stands out. And I'm gonna delete these curves. Oh, nope, the curve, not that. Wonderful. So, this to me looks pretty darn close. Oh yeah. So when you start zooming in and you scroll around like this, you're like, okay, these are sitting right on top of each other. But if they were not, if I say needed to edit this, I would just turn the points on and I would use move UVN. And I would just sit here and, you know, move these points up and down in the end direction until this really perfectly matches my surface. You know, I might just pull this one out a little bit here. Let's pull that out. Either way, there we go. And so you can very subtly, if you need to, make this conform really nicely. So now, when I go do flow along surf, I'm going to flow this object. This is my base surface. And this is my target surface, this custom object that I just made. Oh, ha, huh, OK. Nope, not that. Try it again. Gosh, there we go. OK, hit Enter. There we go, target surface. And ba -ba -ba. let's hide this for a moment. Oh, haha, uh -huh, new logo. There we go. Wonderful. Let's hide that. Look at this. Look at what we have. We've got this logo has been flowed along this surface. And you can see we have a really nice, even over extrusion here so that these can get trimmed out. Right? So now I can say, you know, split this with this and get rid of all this stuff. Ba, ba, ba. I can say split this with this. Ungroup this. Start throwing these away. And I can split this and this with these surfaces here. Wonderful. Throw these away and throw those away. Great. Now I can take all this and I can join it. Show edges. Look at that. We've got no naked edges here. 
and we flowed this logo across this seam of a poly surface, right? And so the, the real, like, like I said, the real moment of inspiration, the thing that unlocked this for me and solved the problem was by creating this custom flow object that is one single untrimmed surface here, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I hope this solves a tricky logo problem for you, either now or sometime in the future. Thank you.